Hello guys, how are you doing? Hope you're okay. Uh, I want us to start on a series of the right hand patterns. Uh, the right hand is uh, equally important uh, during your guitar practices. Okay, so it's part of uh, what you need to develop as a guitarist or as a growing guitarist. And I just want us to start on a series of uh, lessons about the right hand. Okay, uh, lesson one is here and I'll be posting lesson two, lesson three until we are there. See you. I hope you like it. Remember to comment, to subscribe if you're not yet part of this channel. Uh, leave a thumbs up. Uh, press the thumbs up button. Like the video. Uh, let's push this channel. Love you guys. Now the right hand has a five fingers of course but we don't use the little finger to play okay we are going to be learning how to, we can use the four fingers to play that's not something that is just going to happen overnight no it's a series of things that i'm going to be showing you i hope you stay around and i hope you do practice so that you get better at this okay uh here we go now just start by doing this feel your strings I'm not holding any chord, just playing the strings. Okay, so uh, let's start with playing certain chords and you're just starting with a thumb, okay? So I'm playing the chord of G, the chord of C, something that should be simple for you okay now the beauty about picking is you have to be knowing how to press your strings right because if you don't press them right then the sound that will come out of your strings will be very very weird like and trust me when you feel that in your guitar it means that you're not pressing your strings right okay so you have to press it that it gives you the right sound okay uh so uh let's move on to the next finger and this is let's use the same chord progression so let's do so i'm using the index finger to play the three strings uh on the bottom side of that thumb is playing the root notes as the index is playing the three bottom strings So that's the first lesson and uh, trust me before you know it if you just keep on doing just take it slowly the speed grows with time but make sure that the sound of your strings is very clean Before you know it, your speed just comes in a 
naturally as you practice more. So the secret is basically practice. Mm-hmm.